Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Always Making. My name is Jahan and I have a website called Small Home where I'm all about sharing affordable and sustainable DIY and upcycling projects for your home. For this episode, I'm gonna head over to my friend Ellen's house where I will help her upcycle a picnic table that they've had for years. Now, the picnic table doesn't have a top, but I am totally not deterred by that at all. The picnic table has been sitting in Ellen's back garden for a really long time, and her and her husband Luke want to bring it up to the front garden to create a beautiful alfresco dining situation. Now the beautiful thing about the picnic table is that it's actually sitting under a beautiful tree, which provides lots of shade during the hot summer months here on the Sunshine Coast. The picnic table unfortunately doesn't have a tabletop, but I'm not deterred by that at all because Putting a new one on top is actually super easy, but what we use on top won't actually match the timber. So we've been going back and forth for a few weeks now, trying to figure out what we could actually do to the top of the table. And of course, to the timber seats and the actual structure of the picnic table. So a little while ago, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen that I actually ran a poll asking you guys whether or not we should paint or stain the timber. There was one response that was super popular. So this week, Ellen has been running around trying to find the perfect materials for this idea that came flooding through Instagram, which I am so excited about. So without any further ado, let's get making. I am so excited to be at Ellen and Luke's house, which is only 15 minutes down the road from us. We go way back and Luke is Jason's barber and has been for years. So it's super nice helping Ellen upcycle their picnic table. I've always loved their home and it's been beautifully renovated over the years. And like me, Ellen is always making and upcycling. Now it's an absolute must to introduce you to the lady of the house, Pippi. Isn't she the cutest? Now, before we get started, I thought it would be nice to show you their incredible garden. Not only does it have a beautiful outdoor bath, you'll also find a half pipe. Luke is actually a really good skateboarder and and they have recently brought the Skateboard Wheels brand Cockroach back to life and are absolutely killing it. I'm so proud of them. Okay, it's time to get to work. We put some plastic sheeting on the ground and while most people on Instagram voted we stained the timber, we decided to paint it in order to lighten up the space under the tree. We mix exterior paint with water to thin the paint and the reason why we did this is so the paint was less viscous. Now, Ellen has never used a paint gun before and even though it can be a little intimidating to begin with, after a minute or two, she was a total pro and ended up painting the entire table herself while I filmed and enjoyed someone else doing the work. Seriously, it was so much fun showing her the ropes and she loved learning how to use it. If you've never used a paint gun before, don't stress, it's super fun. I do have a few tips though. Wear old clothes, so if you get paint on them, you won't mind. Use the paint gun outdoors, wear a face mask for safety, which is something we forgot to do, so don't tell anyone. Don't position the paint gun too closely or too far away when you're using it and use long arm strokes where possible and always use a drop sheet to protect the surfaces around you. Then using Ellen's very clever hack, we used her leaf blower to speed up the paint drying process and it was a genius idea and we enlisted Luke to position the tabletop onto the table, which we firmly attached using screws and a drill. Then we measured the sides of the tabletop, made a quick frame using timber and screws, and then lightly nailed it to the table edge. And I am excited to let you know that on Instagram, most people suggested we tile the tabletop and that's what we did. Ellen sourced these beautiful organic matte tiles from a local charity shop for a steal, which were on sheets, but we didn't love the uniformity. So we pulled the tiles off and laid them by hand using some tile adhesive. I suggested we lay the tiles further apart than normal to create a beautiful wide grout moment and Ellen loved that idea. So that's what we did. Then we readjusted the frame and nailed it flush with the top of the tiles and applied painter's tape onto the frame to prepare for the next step, applying the grout. For this step in the process, we didn't use any fancy tools or materials. We simply pushed the grout in between the tiles and we weren't sure if we had enough grout. So we did this to limit how much we could use. Now this may or may not be the best way to grout in between tiles, but it worked for us. 
As we were grouting the tiles, we used a tile sponge with water to clean them as we went. I know from experience it's always a good idea to clean the grout off the tiles in sections rather than waiting until the end. As you can see, we didn't get all the grout off the tiles, but we can fix that easily once the grout has fully dried. I am so in love with those wide grout lines. Following this, we peeled the painter's tape off the timber frame and then we painted the trim with the same paint color we used with the spray gun. And there you have it, our beautiful outdoor tiled table. Just kidding, but isn't this table looking gorgeous so far? Can you even remember what it looked like before? Oh my goodness. I am so proud of what we were able to do on this first day. The following morning, Ellen jumped straight back into work. The grout had dried completely, so she cleaned the grout haze using hydrochloric acid and it worked like a treat. Then she sealed the tabletop with a tile and grout sealer and a paintbrush. And Pippi was obviously really excited the table was finished and for me to come over again to celebrate. We styled the table with a potted plant and some candles and honestly, I cannot believe the transformation. Who knew tiling an outdoor table would be so easy and fun? By using exterior paint with the grout and tiles, of course, the table is able to withstand the elements, including our long, humid summer days and rainy weather. When I think back at what the table looked like before, my mind is completely blown. It honestly looked like it was ready to be taken to the tip or used as firewood. But Ellen and I both knew it had so much potential as an alfresco table to enjoy gathering and eating with family and friends and as a place for their two boys to practice their drawing under the canopy of their beautiful tree, which provides lots of cozy shade. I also love that you can still see the ornate texture of the timber grain and for me, the standout was when we decided to hand lay the tiles individually to create a wide grout moment. It just made so much more sense as it ties in beautifully and organically with the textured tiles which Ellen thrifted from a charity shop for a steal. I am still amazed that Ellen stumbled across these tiles because the colour is absolutely perfect for their home and adds a textural pop of colour in their garden. And naturally, I couldn't wait to enjoy the fruits of our labour and sip on iced water with mint leaves, hand-picked from Ellen's herb pots, which is exactly what we needed after working outdoors in the humidity in the middle of summer. Sitting here, it felt like we really had been whisked away to the Italian countryside and it's giving all the European holiday feels. I'm so proud of what we were able to achieve and I hope it's inspired you to tile your own outdoor table as well. So I'm back home and I am beyond thrilled with how Ellen and Luke's outdoor tiled table looks. And even before I got through the front door, Ellen sent me a text letting me know how much she loves it as well. So you have no idea how much that means to me. Now, if I had to choose a couple of things that I love most about the table, I would definitely say the thrifted tiles because they were not only beautiful, the color was stunning, the texture was gorgeous, but Ellen actually thrifted those. So that makes me really happy because it means had she not found them or somebody else, they potentially could have ended up in landfill, which would have been really sad. I also love the thick grout lines, which I think that little extra detail makes the table even more beautiful. Another thing that I loved most about this project was seeing Ellen's face light up the entire time. She learned how to use a spray paint gun. She learned how to lay tiles. She learned so many different things and it was amazing to be able to do a project with her on this large scale so anyway I just wanted to say thank you so much for tuning into this episode I really hope you enjoyed it and learned lots of new skills along the way and I also hope it's inspired you to make your own tile table now before I go I just want to say that I'm so excited for next month's episode it's going to be a big one something you've never seen before but for now it would mean the absolute world to me if you could like this episode and subscribe to my youtube channel always making